be making the difference that we want to see in the world and that we can be building a future for our children that we will never see. The underlying thing for negotiation for me is that you just have to recognize that it's human and it's organic. Um, and that you have to be prepared, and part of being prepared means you have to be ready to pivot. I definitely felt torn between the responsibilities and urges of being a good mother and the responsibilities and demands of having a job that was truly 24-7. And I know that in the hospitality industry, many of you do not work regular nine to five jobs. I mean, the hotel never shuts down, right? Where do I say it? What is, how does someone react to what I say? That I think that's a real challenge that, you know, we as women, we as people, you know, we really gotta start thinking about. Leadership is not a solo act. You know, I am up here because of everybody that has ever worked with me um, in my 20 years. Awesome. Women in Leadership was brought to you today by the talent and dedication of a small working committee of women who met over a period of six to eight months to share ideas, advise, uh, share research on women in the workplace. We could not have made this event possible without their help and their hard work. Research shows a significant positive effect on the financial performance of a company when there's a greater proportion of women in top management jobs. Last year in California, companies with women in at least one quarter of the leadership positions earned three times greater revenue and 40% more profits.